Hey guys, Dave from Nerdarchy, for Nerds by Nerds, hanging out with this nerd. I'm Ted. And today we're going to do another edition of What Does Your Class Say About You, The Wizard? Why don't you get wise and get on down below and click on the link for Nerdarchy, the newsletter. It's a great way to get gaming tips delivered straight to your inbox as well as learn how to game with Nerdarchy. So, wizard, like, you know, uh, of all of the classes in D&D, the wizard really does feel more like an occupation in, in some degree because it really takes a lot of study and, and hard work to there's, become there's, a wizard. There, there's a lot, a lot of classes that you can just, poof, you're a this. You know, be it by divine grace or bloodline or whatever have you, <laughs> poof, I'm a class. Wizard is you spend years of study learning to read books and memorize things, and if you're not devoted to that, you ain't a wizard. Pretty much. So no, no matter what other traits your character exhibits, you're to some extent or another, you have to be scholarly and, and, and studious. studious. You you can have all uh, you know you can be defined by all kinds of other things, but without those traits, you're not a wizard. You don't it you, you it don't does, you don't have what it takes. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether you're the person that's sitting behind the crystal ball, you know, divining the future, or whether you're the person on the battlefield throwing fireballs. At the end of the day, you're both going to sit down and be reading that book. Also, too, it says something too about the uh, the person, the character of the person who becomes a wizard because they require a work ethic. You know, to sit there. And, you know, fighters are similar too because you mm -hmm. have to study your craft. Right. Uh, but you know, un you know, unlike classes like warlock, where you just kind of like you're given the power, or sorcerer, where it just appears. Uh, you know, a, even like a barbarian is you're kind of like born into that mm -hmm. uh, lifestyle, so to speak. Um, and a cleric could be, you know, could be chosen by their god. Paladin can be chosen by their god for mm -hmm. the divine power parts of it. Right. Anyway, the other stuff, yeah, they got to train and study for. Um, but with the wizard, that's it. There is only one path, as I say it. Like you may have, a, there may be all kinds of paths to get to that one path. <laughs> but once you become, you said, once your cat, your per, this person has decided, I am going to learn magic, and I am going to use magic. There's only one thing they can do: study their ass off. Indeed, you know, and you know, in, in my game, you know, we have the, the human wizard Aeson, who's like, I spent ten years to become, a, you know, apprenticing to become a wizard, and it's like, that's kind of what it takes. It takes time to be able to sit there and go through a thing, you know, book after book, memorizing. We said we can sit back and we can watch movies and we can recite quotes, but it's another thing to be like, all right, I'm going to learn another language and I'm going to memorize something in that language. And be able to memorize not only the words but the gestures and what items I need. Well, to it's be like able being a do. scientist because like each spell is a formula crafted by you. Right. So like even if you're a wizard and takes no knowledge skills whatsoever, if nothing else, you you had to figure out the magical and arcane formulas for casting every spell that you know. Yes. And I and even like cantrips like in fifth edition we have cantrips and ritual spells which which are newer to to Dungeons and Dragons. Um, that will cantrips anyway, but you know, in a, can a cantrip is a spell that you've done so many times you can do it without thinking about it, and you just like mess biggest? <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> you've ingrained that thing on your brain, and and, and it, it, in my opinion, it goes beyond memorization. Yes, uh, you know, and then it really becomes a part of you. That it's just it's just like moving your hand. You can just do this. Yeah, you. It's it's you. You you, you are the cantrip. You are one. You know, and then you know, and then you have ritual spells that you know that require precise pr uh, practices and precision of putting out all the right implements and, and 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 you know whether you're chalking lines or doing whatever you're doing to cast it from your spell. So so there's no, like I, it's not talked about in the game, but like anytime you're doing something like this, I, I always imagine like if you if you get something wrong or you you, know, you put a or you cross cross the the wrong T and dot the wrong I, you know, all of a sudden you've accidentally summoned Cthulhu. This is the stuff that can happen when you're using magic. Uh, oh man. So so there's also so like in, in essence too, like because because the way uh 
arcane casting goes for the wizard there, there's a little bit of risk to it too like it was trial and error like you're figuring things out like you know you don't want to accidentally open a portal to hell like <laughs> it just mess it'll ruin your day so, so like there's a there's a level of uh, a risk taking as well that mm-hmm. I, I, I that I don't think people would, would think about and associate with the wizard but it's definitely in there yeah. you, 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 they're, they're an adventurer of a different sort even if you're a wizard that doesn't adventure and there's, you know, speaking of adventuring, there's another whole side to looking at that. At that. Regardless of how high your intelligence is, you're, you're someone who tends to think more intellectually. You're going to be viewed, even if you're not, as one of the smarter members of the, of the party. So the wizard should be the one offering I- ideas out when you're encountering puzzles and riddles and the like um you know you could be the one that could be offering tactics if there's no one in your party who who is going that route you know you're not necessarily going to be the leader but you're there's someone that's going to be relied on because the wizard is the one who especially at later levels they're the ones that are able to thwart the problems and, and get get through things through magic and through intellect well yeah they're more they're they're more logic based right you know, to, to their approach to all problems where the barbarian everything he's going to try and solve everything with an axe while the wizard is going to try and think his way through the problems and, and to a certain extent because they have a limited uh, resource in their magic you know, you may even be more conservative with it as well, like trying to figure out how to how to intellectually, mentally solve problems without even using the magic. Right. Now, again, that's just a personality trait. You may have more other wizards who are more flamboyant, and they want to use magic for everything. everything. Right. You know, oh, well, I, you know. There's a door in the way. I fire Paul in. <laughs> Asen. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so there's there's definitely different approaches approaches within within that that uh, uh, the, the pattern of thought. But at the end of the day, yeah, that character th- those characters are going to tend to be more studious, more intellectual, you know, uh, more meticulous. Uh, uh, they're gonna have they're they're naturally have to be planners because they have to plan out their spell book and. Mm-hmm. So, like, every day they get up and they prepare what spells they're going to do. And by preparing, it means I'm going to read and memorize this shit. Uh, in the old days, it was literally, what, a page per level of the spell that you were going to quote-unquote memorize? Uh, no, I would think that was for transcribing it or whatever. No, but, like, yeah, it's like in earlier editions, it took a long time to sit there and read all your spells and memorize them. You have a little bit more flexibility where you have, like, a suite of spells that you right. can kind of u- use, mm-hmm. but... Uh, you know, it's still like your your character has a morning ritual or a nightly ritual that he does every day. Right. Uh, so you know, it speaks to someone who's more uh, organized as well because they have to be. Right. So I don't I don't know what does being a wizard say to you guys? What what do you think? Uh, the 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 wizard espouses it to to you. Put it in the comments below. While you're at it, like, share, and subscribe. You can tweet at us at Nerdarchy. So until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.